Well, it's time for a video game review to do. I feel like I need to do more video game related videos. Thankfully, I got one for this month. Splatoon 2. Yeah, I'm actually doing a review of that instead of the first one. Well, it turned 5 this year. And with the release of Splatoon 3 coming out in September, I think this is great timing to talk about Splatoon 2. I will get to the first one in a future video. When the second game got announced on Nintendo Switch, I got really excited. I will say, it was too early to bring a sequel since the first game came out in 2015, and then a couple years later the sequel to release. But hey, I'm okay with the follow-up game. Now, there is a story in the single-player mode. One of the Squid Sisters from the first game, Marie, discovers that the great Zapfish that powers the city has gone missing again, even her sister Callie. Now she gets her role as an agent to investigate. Now it's up to you as an inkling, destroying the Octorans and freeing the Zapfish. So yeah, I don't need to say anything about the story. There are modes in the game like Turf War, Ranked Battle, the Hero Mode, Salmon Run, and the paid DLC called Octo Expansion. Now let's get to the single player mode of the gameplay. The single player mode is great. There are some new ideas in the game like the bowling ball one and I like that. But other than that, I like the level design, the worlds, and the gameplay in the game. There is a gripe with the single player mode and that is trying to find a sector level in each world where you have to find the kettles because they're invisibles. I know the first game had that. It would have been nice if the game had a world map. Oh well, I did get them all. but. That is my gripe. Also, I did make it to the final boss, but couldn't beat it. Yeah, it is a tough boss, so maybe one day I'll beat the final boss. In fact, I didn't even beat the final boss in the first Platoon game. So now, let's move on to online. The online in the game is fantastic. Yes, it plays like the first game, but I still love Turf War to this day. I'm usually the best player when I'm on a team. That's how good I am. And while I'm not the biggest online player, it's still fun. I have played Rank Battle, which that mode is alright. It depends how, how you rank. And for Salmon Run, well, it's an area to play on a certain day. I'll try to play that mode soon. Besides the modes, there were unique changes in this game, like the map rotation. They do it a lot quicker, and that's great. And the maps in the game are great. The weapons are awesome. I don't have a personal favorite, I just like using different weapons. The only weapons I don't use are slow and charged up weapons. I like fast and quick pace weapons like splash matic The graphics in the game are still beautiful. Yes, it's similar to the first game, but that was on Wii U. The sequel is on a Nintendo Switch, and the graphics are still great for that quality. As far as level ups, I'm not that far ahead. Keep in mind, I don't play it every day, but I don't level up pretty fast. Ever since the game came out, they had Splatfest, and those are pretty fun. Until the Switch changed with its online service. Which, yeah, when the game came out, the online was free with the internet connection. But then in September 2018, when the Nintendo Switch online service was out, you have to pay, meaning that any games that support online have to be paid. And that sucked. Oh well, I had fun playing the online since then. Speaking of paying, there is a downloadable content paid, and that is the Octo Expansion. The pack came out in summer 2018, and to this day, I haven't gotten the pack yet, but I will play it someday. Now, before I wrap up the review, I want to mention about the popularity of the game. Ever since the first game came out, I wanted the game to be a new IP to sell great. And when the second game came out, it sold a lot more, and as of now, the game sold over 13 million units worldwide, selling twice as much as its predecessor. And I'm proud of Nintendo for Splatoon to become a franchise and selling great. All in all, Splatoon 2 is a great follow-up to the first game. It has some similarities, but there are some differences in the game more than meets the eye. That is all for my Splatoon 2. I am ready for Splatoon 3. And once I get the game, I will do a review of that game too. And then the first game, which that will be in a future video. I will see you guys and wait a minute. My next new video is a milestone. Well, get ready for the hype. See you all then.